Hey everybody, I uh, just want to go ahead and do a quick video update on the state of the 65 Omega Turbo Kit for the Mark V Supra. Obviously, I'm standing here in front of the Remnant Supra, um, and as this, this car is actually going to be directly used as one part of the testing that we're going to do for the Turbo Kit. It is a two-port car, um, so we obviously are going to be testing the two-port kits first, uh, and then... Um, you know, of course, that will be directly transferable to the six port as far as numbers and everything like that is, is concerned. any rate, uh, just to update those of you guys who haven't been uh, fully updated here recently, we have the entire turbo kit here. In fact, I have two entire turbo kits here uh, waiting to go on this car. Um, you know, and uh, Marin of Marin uh, Tune, his car is going to be used as well too for testing. Um, this is now running EcuTech. Uh, it is running uh, Marin's tuning here on this car as well. And the way the timing is going to work out, it's going to have this car has the Leviathan on here. It is going to have the entirety of the Renault Performance portfolio for the Mark V Supra is going to be on this car at the time of testing. So where we stand right now, CRHRA is done. The wastegate electronic wastegate bracket is also done. Uh, the compressor housing and the changes that we had to make there for the larger compressor wheel on the 65 Omega, that is done. Uh, the turbine housing is uh, actually complete. It right now is being in the last stages there for uh, machining. So that's going to take a little bit of time due to the complexity of that. But we expect to have the turbos in hand, fully assembled right here, ready to put on the cars in about the first a uh, week or so, first or second week, maybe November latest. I am currently working on obviously dial dialing in the time 100% so that I can schedule dyno time for this car at Phantasm's Dyno here uh, in North Carolina. It's about you know 25 minutes from here where we're at here in Holly Springs. Uh, and then that way, this car is going to go straight onto the dyno. Uh, we're going to have it running the gamma system as well too for port injection, intake manifold, everything like that. We get some 93 numbers and then go and, and bump it up to uh, E70 to get some E70 numbers and push this car to where it is. It's got it running the XHP stage two, so it'll give us transmission, uh, you know, capability headroom to be able to push some numbers there and see what we can get done uh, on this car. Anyway, so that'll be a full setup there uh, in the next couple of weeks here. I'm working on getting everything else set up there for... Um, you know, the actual port injection set them to be put in here, uh, including the motive reflex and a new fuel pump. But other than that, uh, yeah, the car is pretty much ready to go. Um, the kit is ready to go, as you see here. Um, just going to be, like I said, waiting here on the turbo. But everything else that needs to be in its place is ready to go. So all the adapters, all the lines, all the AN lines, everything are in here. So we are ready to go as soon as we get the turbos here. And we'll be able to get to you guys some numbers uh, and data around, you know, reliability and all that stuff like that. How boost comes in. Uh, it's going to be all data logged and have all that stuff like that for you guys. So I um, figured it'd just be easier to just do a quick video than to type a whole bunch of stuff out. But that's where we stand right now. Uh, like I said, this car is going to go straight up uh, onto the dyno with the full setup. Um, and then we'll be able to to be able to take you guys to final production for everything. Six port, um, for you guys who have the six port, the turbine housing is in uh, process right now. It is being currently being made as far as the mold is concerned. That is the long pull in the tent, as I mentioned before. Uh, it is currently in process. We're almost done with that mold, and that is by far the longest part of, of it. Um, just so you guys know, I know obviously we first announced this kit way back in December, uh, like, like basically, yeah, it was, it was New Year's Eve last year. I know it's been taking a long time, but part of it was the six months that I did with the uh, turbo manufacturer designing and redesigning designing the electronic wastegate bracket and a uh, special little ad adapter arm to make sure that it will not have binding issues, bending of anything or anything like that. Uh, in regards to these things running straight on your car. So you should be able to directly transfer it from your turbo today, stock turbo, and put it right into the, uh, onto the, uh, the 65 Omega, right? So 
It took a while to get right, but we're pretty confident in that design. So um, I think that you guys will be have, have no problem whatsoever. So I'm sorry for the delay that it took to get that right. But now that it is, I'm pretty sure that we'll be ready to, to get, uh, you know, this, with, this, this running right now and, and making them how much power we need to without any issues. So I hope that gives you guys an update as to where we are. Like I said, it's about uh, about three weeks or so out from where we we should be, you know, getting the turbos uh, and getting it all set up here. So stay tuned. I'll be sharing more information with you guys. The Gamma stuff is coming along really well. I think you guys saw the in the actual intercooler core um, posted that up there. So and we're currently CNCing everything there for the end tanks and. Uh, the port injection plate for the stage one, and I've got the injectors here set up here. So we'll be up and running here shortly.